How are we doing everyone? I'm Blogger the Hut and this is every new sentient species that has been introduced so far in The Mandalorian from seasons one to three and the book of Boba Fett. Before I begin, a massive, massive thank you to Matty on Twitter who's been helping me out. And if you like this video, you'll definitely like his content and I've put links to it in the description. So go check that out. So driving in with season one, we have the Mithril, one of the very few actually named species from this series. So we see here he's the young sort of fledgling Mithril, the main difference being these side fins on his face and the little barbels coming from the chin. So we do very briefly see a fully fledged version in The Rise of Skywalker who has a few differences from this one. So we see and talks about sort of some of these sort of insectoid things, talks about evacuating his thorax. And then we do have this sort of comical feature in season two where he seems to release some mist or gas from his neck on seeing Mando. I think that's a throwback to him being in carbonite, but anyway, it's a pretty fun feature. And this red-skinned alien we see briefly in the Navarro bar, better look at it there. The yellow-skinned alien with some kind of cybernetic thing on its head. Then we have the alien known as Gecko informally, this black and white striped guy with the little spikes coming out of his head. You see him better on the right here in this shot and a few times during the firefight with Mando. Then this little guy with a helmet, and saucer head. Now you see him a few times in this shot. Anything with a mask I, I'm assuming is alien. There's gonna be a lot of dubious ones in this series. Then we have another yellow alien coming into shot, but you see that it does have some facial markings. Then we have this pink alien, you can see with a sort of top knot style, you only ever really see it from the back. And then we have this other alien who I just initially thought was human, but it has definitely been confirmed as an alien. And a very grumpy looking blue humanoid in the bar on Navarro. Then we have in tiny in the background here, and a better here, this kind of lizard looking if you look at it closely. And this species here with the horns and the long beard. Kind of looks a bit like a fawn from Chronicles of Narnia or something, but you know, still a pretty cool species. Then a bunch of guys that could be aliens, like this guy in a helmet. And this one in the pointy hood, boom. Pale faced alien here gets shot again. And this guy in a helmet again, boom. And this one in the rebreather. I'm sort of assuming that anyone in a mask or a rebreather is an alien. And uh, another humanoid on Sorgan with orange skin and green hair. And then the frog species that we all know and love. Though they are aquatic, they are capable of living on planets such as Tatooine, as we see. And also there's a couple living it up on Plazir 15 in season three. We know a little bit about them, that their eggs are hatched by the female and then need to be fertilized by the male. That they uh, cannot travel through hyperspace without being damaged. We also know that there's this cool skill of being able to grab things by their tongue and also being able to bound very quickly on all fours as a quicker way of getting around. And then the most adorable reunion scene of all time. The description says that they need a planet with environments very specific, such as the one on Trask, for them to be able to raise their young. So even though they can survive on other planets to birth youngsters, they do need a very specific environment. And then we do see some details of how their young children are born, as we see one of the, the eggs hatching there to this adorable little tadpole-like being, and then hatching very quickly into a small little uh, froglet able to survive in shallow water. And then Dr. Mandible, probably one of my favourite background aliens from the series, seen briefly in season one in the background of the bar, and then they brought him back interacting here with Pelly in season two. So really good insectoid species with the giant eyes. And no, I do not think that's his real name. Of course, Pelly's just made it up as a nickname for him. But yeah, just really, really cool. Some spindly legs and the, the massive antennae as well. Just great, and I hope we see more of him. Very briefly, an alien on this prison ship. You see this kind of non-human face behind the bars. And then a species in the crowd on Sorghum with some markings around the face and the eyes. Uh, very human like but definitely bluish tint. Another yellow humanoid. See him closely there. Then we have this guy with the spikes coming out around his eyes. Also some reddish markings around the eyes and, and quite pointy ears as well. 
Then we have, well, two aliens in this shot. First is this blue alien with the, the domed head and the white markings around the eyes. And in the sanctuary on Mos Espa, there are some more species with similar traits. Tall heads, uh, brightly coloured skin and white markings around the eyes. This guy with the uh, greenish skin and the blue markings. In this shot in the centre, we see this uh, alien in a red suit. And then in the ambush scene, we have this alien in the mask. I ignored it on my first pass through, but if you do look closely, you do see that they have quite pink skin. And another one in the prisoner's shot here. A few more from the prisoners. There's this guy, definitely has some slightly alien cheekbone type structure. And then another alien, possibly, it could just be tattoos, but I've included this one just in case as well. An alien here in the background of the scrapyard, can't quite tell what it is. And then the Shydot species, which uh, were a really, really cool uh, alien design with the, the things coming down by their, their chins. I just thought this is really original while still feeling classic Star Warsy. We know a little bit about them. We do know that they are native to the planet Morak, as well as there are human colonists. These guys are uh, the owners of this planet. I love the, the variety of colours as well, the variety of skin tones. Then this red-skinned alien in the bar on Lafette. Then a few individuals seen here with this red face and a greenish markings around the chin. A few different variations on this seen throughout the series. Then this species with the sort of fins coming up on the side and the barbels around the chin. We see a few different variations of this species, but they all seem to have the same overall trait. Can't quite tell if they're the same or different, but definitely enough common features. Then this species here with the sort of the goggles on, can't really tell what it is, but there's a closer look up at its skin. Then this woman seen here, uh, definitely some kind of bony structure to the face. And in the background of this shot, an alien with seemingly a brain exposed on its head. Then this species with a very tall head, definitely see some sort of markings and almost indentations in the back of the skull there. Then this alien with a kind of purple face, don't really get much of a look at all there, again in the background there. This uh, humanoid with the blue marking across the forehead and the pointy ears, we see quite a few times in Navarro. Then Pirate King Gorian Shard, just love the out there design with the sort of ape-like face and that these tendrils of foliage coming off all over him, just really, really fantastic design. Yeah, just can't take your eyes off this greenery that's coming all over him. I don't know if it's some kind of natural thing or whether it's some plant that just happens to symbiotically live off him, I don't know, but just really, really great design. And then the Warthog first mate, just again, just classically weird and wonderful uh, with the massive tusks. I believe it's called a Warthog in the official description, but I refuse to accept that. Then the Alamite, another named species, one of the very few we've got. These cave dwellers on Mandalore. We'll learn a bit about them in the series that they used to sort of be kept to the, the outlands, uh, where, well away from the cities. Do notice in some shots they have uh, a very ridged spine with spikes seeming to come out of their backs. Then we have absolute monster of an alien who first comes in this huge mech uh, walking around and then coming out into this uh, sinister looking humanoid design with all the pumps obviously harvesting for presumably to keep itself sustained and then we see the thing uh, huge eye in proportion to its body uh, scuttle away inside its tiny thing so we just get a sense of how tiny it actually is then some kind of alien on the right here but can't tell what it is possibly a cascadag but it's too blurry to make out Bunch of different aliens in this scene on Coruscant. Uh, I've done a breakdown of it on my blog. Then two aliens to the right here. Can't tell one's possibly a weak way. Then a purple-faced alien here talking to the Mon Calamari. In all likelihood it's a Pantoran, but it's just too far away to be sure. Then a super blurry species, maybe Barbadellan. And this guy in the middle here. 
Then we have this alien with the spikes coming out of his chin. Again, seen a few variations of, of this, but uh, doesn't seem to match any of the others. And a very pale skinned, could just be the lighting, but the others do seem more human skin tones. And just to box it off on Plazir 15, we have a green running screaming woman, a green standing screaming woman, and a very, very obscure someone possibly in a helmet. Well, that is it. That's every species I spotted. And yeah, thank you again for watching and may the force be with you.